Justin Floyd. I've been here two years and uh, currently I'm the ICU and the emergency room manager and my job is to oversee the nurses and providers and make sure that we're keeping up on the quality of care and having the equipment and, and services to be able to, to provide that to the patients. Well, the emergency room is that special area that sees everything. Uh, we're a level four trauma center. Uh, we see a whole gamut of problems and issues and diagnoses and everything you can see. We see. <laughs> so we're in the middle of expanding. Uh, should be done with half half of it in August, but uh, we're going to be going from 12 beds to over 20 beds uh, when we're, when it's all said and done, which is hugely needed. Uh, we see almost 2,000 patients a month in 12 beds, which. Um, it's a lot to handle, and they're even seeing, I mean, we have 12 beds, but it's in such a small area. They're, they're cramped up, and there's a lot of staff and people running around, and um, it's, it's going to be a, a huge help when we are able to kind of spread everything out and um, have more room. <laughs> With medicine, everything changes so much. Um, there's always new things coming out, new ways to help patients. Um, there's you know, always new equipment coming out that helps us take care of patients just that much better, provides safer care to them, provides safer uh, working place for the staff as well. So uh, being able to have the, the best and newest equipment out there keeps us um, up to date with what all the big medical centers are doing as well so that way whether you come into a rural emergency room like ours or go up to a big medical center you're still getting the same care. The, I mean the emergency room needs community support uh, you know the emergency room is a community service we're, we're there to help the people that um, you know maybe not have access to, to health care all the time, don't have a doctor regularly, and we see them every day. We're open 24-7 and ready to take them in. So um, without the support of the community, then the emergency room can't function. I would just say on behalf of the, the staff in the department and the patients, we are beyond words grateful to the support that you give us and the support that you give the community. Uh, without the contributions that they've made, we wouldn't be able to provide a high quality of care like we do.